I'm a Divisional Manager of Cancer Services at UCLH, which means I'm responsible for all the cancer services at the Trust, which equates to around 1,100 staff, turnover of 190 million, um, all the governance, the budget and the responsibilities of that. My original qualification is a therapeutic radiographer, which I qualified in 1999. I still have a strong passion for cancer and cancer treatment, and that's where I've focused. Um, I went to the NHS Leadership Academy and did a Master's in Healthcare Management um, and worked my way into the role that I am now. When I first moved into the role of Head of Cancer Operations at UCLH, I had a personal fear that I didn't have the expertise that was required and the leadership skills required. Um, I also felt I had to persuade people that I was that right person, I was the person that could make those decisions. I found that easier with my clinical oncologists who are obviously from a radiotherapy background and they believed that I was capable and understood the decisions I was making. When it came to the chemotherapy side of things and the haematologists, I do feel I had a bit of persuasion and I had to stand up and show that I had those skill sets. And there's also that fear in the NHS when you come from a clinical background, you're stepping into a world of management, which is often referred to as the dark side to my clinical colleagues. And you're stepping into a world where people have trained to be managers, they've come through an NHS graduate scheme, which can be quite intimidating. But I believe in the skills that you pick up as a, as a clinician, as a clinical person, really make the difference, enable you to view those decisions in a very different way to a graduate and understand the impact that you have on patients and your colleagues and staff. Leadership can be quite a, a lonely arena to work in, um, especially if you are coming as an AHP from a clinical background. You're often used to working in a close-knit team and having the support network. When all of a sudden you're responsible for 1,200 staff and a budget of 178 million, it can feel like a very lonely and frightening place. Um, Again, it's about having the right people to talk to. It's about utilising your team. It may not be as close a knit team as your clinical team that you used to. You probably don't see them every minute of the day. But it's about utilising your team and working with them to work through those complex situations and those bits that absolutely terrify you. And again, I think it is around getting yourself a mentor, whether it's someone from your old clinical background, whether you go out and find someone new, and just getting that support network so you know you're making the right decisions and you know you've got someone to bounce ideas off of. My biggest fear when stepping outside of that clinical setting was losing that one-to-one -one patient contact. I loved working with patients. I loved hearing their stories. I loved supporting patients and their family. And the fear for me was, do I lose that impact on a patient? Do I lose the ability to see that? Um, my advice to anyone that's thinking about a change or a move into management or leadership is, you still have that impact on patients. You still have that ability to change their experience that they're having. My advice to anyone is, don't lose that contact. Even now that I'm a senior manager, I still get down onto the the floor, I still meet patients, I still talk to staff so that I can see the decisions I'm making are having an impact and whether that's positive or negative. The importance is not to lose your, your passion that you had in the first place, that need to support and help patients, that's what will make you a good leader, that's what will change the way you make your decisions. The healthcare environment now is a real opportunity for AHPs, there's a chance to develop your career, there's a chance to do advanced practice. Um, there's different chances to come out into management and leadership. Um, I think the landscape has changed. I think I'm very lucky. I work in a very clinically, medically led institution. I think other hospitals are now looking at that model. How do we get our clinical people and people with clinical experience into those leadership roles so that we can make some really good strategic decisions around how we manage the very shaky landscape of healthcare?